Tape number four of The Waiting on God, held at the Omni, Netherlands Plaza, August 11 through 13, 1990. Women had their dead raised alive again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might receive a better resurrection. Faith to know and to believe and to lay hold of the promise and not let loose that the line will be unbreakable and be affected. Oh, wonderful Savior. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I need more of thee. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Well, we'll take up another offering now. Almost got to the widow's might. I cast in more than they all. Well, years ago, I said we needed 40,000, and I, we lacked uh, 23,000 something. <clears throat> so one of our sons just wrote a check out for 23,000 and made the balance up to 40,000. So God has given us uh, abundant supply here yeah. of joy oh, and love and light. Never heard anything like that. Huh? Never heard anything like this. I never have in all my 55 years. Never. In 55 years, you've never, never been, like we've this. never been privileged to be in there on this? Not like this. Well, <laughs> we want to thank Jesus and give God all the glory. Because only through him can it be again. Because you know we're limited. We're not a scholar. We're only a servant. And so here we are. And we praise the Lord for victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Michael, come to the piano. Michael Benjamin. Oh, I tell you, this son, uh, it seems to me like God's anointed him with such anointing. And keep praying now, all of it, for the dear ones praying right down here. And we praise the Lord how God helped us here this morning. And we thank him. Now, if you don't have any, it's number seven. That is good news. <laughs> Did you want to say anything? Any announcements while he's getting ready? Okay. Brother John's going to give the announcement, then we're going to have Michael pray, and then we're going to have the offertory. I know uh, the time's going quickly. You know, see, I got down here by 1.30. I didn't think I could. I would have felt like I was a little weary. But Jesus helped me. We mentioned... Uh, Brother, giving his heart, oh, saving, saving him, Jesus, giving him victory, Lord. Oh, Jesus, giving him victory, Jesus. Victory, 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 Jesus. We praise you. Thank you, Jesus, for giving and helping him to pray and believe and not look at the problem, but look at the promise. Don't look at the past, but look up to the future and keep the line open. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, we're going to have prayer now. And uh, Thomas, would you just pray and say, Jesus, bless this offering, multiply it as the loaves and the fishes. Uh, heal these cancers while he's praying in Jesus' name. Go ahead. Jesus, we pray that you bless this offering as you multiply the loaves and the fishes. We pray that each one that gives would be blessed and returned as needed. Jesus, thank you for helping River Helm, for giving strength and guidance and unction. Jesus, we praise thee in thy name. Amen. Amen.
divine power to chase away any gloom. For Jesus, for Jesus is in this very room. very room there's quite enough love for all of us and in this very room there's quite enough joy for all of us and there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to take scriptures, those of you who had victory, thank you, they were so beautiful. In the scriptures, be sure, read the fifth chapter of Matthew when you get in your room. It's only five to ten verses. What you don't understand, don't try to get it. Read the Bible like you eat fish. Chew what you can chew and put the bones back. The bones will be chewed up after a while. You grow a little bit and keep the line good in shape. God will give you some spiritual molars to take care of it in time. Don't get discouraged with what you don't understand but chew up everything you can understand and it'll grow stronger things for you to get yourself outgoing for God and accomplish much in time as the Lord leads you. Read the word, pray, witness, and obey. Deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow. Review that constantly because if we don't, we'll lose our first love. And he said... I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. That, that's the joy you had when you were converted. You don't have it. The love, the joy, the enthusiasm, the victory, it's not there. It's because something of the world and self got in and there's no power. You see, when you put Jesus first, you don't lose your first love. You grow and you become like a flame. You're like a fire, not like a dying lamp, but a blazing torch. We're going to have to dismiss. We have less than an hour to clear and all these things. Now, when you go to eat, you know what you're going to do? You're not going to talk. You're just going to whisper a prayer. You're going to eat and eat and eat and eat and get out and go rest and get quiet and pray or sleep. And then come back and pray for me because I'm the neediest. For I am needy. Praise the Lord. We will now stand, please. When you handle the hymn books, handle them softly, gently. They wear out so quickly. We only have a few hundred left. That's after the dismissal, and they'll tell you how to leave. Thank you. Has everyone enjoyed it? Say amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Well, I, I felt like Jesus helped me. I didn't know when I came in here I was going to preach on the line. But he helped me. 
And we want to thank Jesus for it because you see, Brother Richie's is where I got a hold of this through the Holy Spirit, through Jesus' help. All right, we will now have the prayer. And when we go, we'll go quietly. We'll eat, not gallop it, but eat nicely. And then go quickly, softly to our room, rest, pray, and then return quiet. And then we trust for tonight. At seven o'clock. That isn't long. I don't know whether it's long enough or not. It'll come fast. Well, let's try, let's try to make it at uh, seven or seven, 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 seven. I believe we're going to try to make it 7.30. Give just a little longer to rest. All right. Janet, but you come and pray. Uh, the lovely wife of our secretary, uh, she loves Jesus with all of her heart. She's been an inspiration to me. I look down and she just helps me. And oh, she just pops the wheel and helps oh, yeah. me. You know, oh my, how she helps me when I look down yeah. when I'm trying to speak. I'm in debt to Jesus for that. Thankful. Thank you. Father, we praise your name and thank you for your faithfulness to meet with us today. Lord, we want to be found rejoicing over this one that has found thee. Yeah. Along with the angels in heaven, we rejoice, Lord, in your Holy Spirit that has power to convict men of sin, of righteousness and judgment to come. Lord, we thank you for these days that we have together. Lord, I pray that our hearts be, would be looking to thee, that our spiritual ears would be listening, that we would be wanting a closer walk with you. We thank you, Lord, for what you want to do in our lives during these days. In thy name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for my wife. Thank you, Jesus, for my wife, my children, my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, loved ones, my enemies, persecuted of violence, and need encouragement, help them. We thank you, Jesus, each and every one throughout the world on the mission fields. Be with, uh, we pray thee, Jesus, there is Joseph and Rosalie there in Nigeria. Just had a little one come. We pray to take care and help her. Encourage her, oh Lord. She's been out there in that country. Oh Jesus, it was quite a letter. We pray for her that you'll take care of her. And here's Jay's work in India, the orphanage and that school and the home. And for Brother Salami in the East, the Middle East, we pray for them. Oh, that thou encourage them, that strengthen them with the might of God. For the widow in the north, for the children where they've been hungry. We pray, dear Father, for this soul, dear Lord, that's in great anguish. Touch Adam Osborne that he'll be well. Behold, be healed, be delivered out of infection and sickness. Let him now be recovered and well. In Jesus' name, by thy stripes, there's no virtue in us whatsoever. We have nothing to claim. Holy, let him behold the name of Jesus. Let this poison slip out of the bones and the blood and the tissues and the fibers and the organs for Jesus' glory. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Napo, his ministry in Haiti, that you will undertake for him. Oh God, help him to get those churches rebuilt, Lord. We're trusting, oh God, for Joseph, oh, for Ephraim and for his father and all the family, for he is now gone. We pray, Lord, that thou will encourage, strengthen, intervene, and undergird for the brother in there that wants us to bring him here and be with us for a while. We pray, dear Lord, for thy guidance and thy help in the Holy Ghost. Heavenly Father, we praise thee for the way you helped him all this morning and this afternoon. How you blessed and saved souls have brought this man to Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your work of love in the Holy Ghost. There's nothing we are a sinner saved by grace. It'll be by thy mercy and thy sacred blood that we can make heaven, knowing that we're nothing, that we're needy. Oh, hallelujah, we're needy. We're only just the little ones. We praise you, Father, for joy, for love, for love for all the peoples to love thee, our heavenly Father, Jesus, with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength, and love our neighbors as ourselves. We praise you, Jesus. For how thou hast led and guided and directed, touch my throat so I can see, I can speak, I can make utterance. I want to praise thee for it. For all these that have sacrificed and these that have believed, and those that are in perplexity, disappointment, trials, tests, struggles, storms, misunderstood, unheard and crushed and wounded and lonely, I pray for their recovery, with their help and healing. I ask, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, he said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. We pray for this one that's got this trouble on the top of the head, just right through there, that thou will come and heal, make them well, take this trouble out of there. In Jesus' name, this peculiar something just right up in here, below the heart and in the stomach and the spleen. We pray for the recovery in Jesus' name. He said, as you go heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, free to receive, free to give. We pray, Heavenly Father, with thy precious work in this other part of the head in the center, that thou will recover from this infection or growth. It's a growth. I ask it to now be obliterated and be gone. Take it. Let it die and let it be out of the brain. In the name of Jesus, for the glory of God, be with us poverty and those in need and those financial situations only they can take care of. I pray in the name of Jesus for the widows, that you will comfort the widows, the fathers, the orphans, and the call of the chosen and the elect. The chosen and the saints need their struggle on the battle, on the front battle lines, that thou will go to them, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. The chosen and the elect, those that deny self and follow thee, that thou will encourage them, Lord. Well, with our boys ready for foreign lands, I pray for thee, O Lord, to intervene. For Jack, O God, and for all the others, that thou will take care, comfort, and protect, and deliver. And let, we pray to the Holy Ghost to do a miracle in some hearts uh, in various parts of the world that we need thee. We need thee every hour, every moment, every breath. We trust for those in Israel, those in the Arab nations, and all the various needs, dear Father, of all peoples, of all ideas, and theories and philosophies, that thou wilt reveal thyself to them. 
Let the revelation be given that's needed. Let the guidance and the revelation be administered uh, in the name of Jesus and for thy sake and glory. In Jesus' name, for this in the left temple, I pray that thou will move in on this situation for the glory of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. O Lord, and take care. Work, we pray thee, by thy healing stripes. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus Christ, behold. Let these joints now be recovered, I pray thee, and take care of the trouble in the wrist and this left side. We're trusting, Father, for thy precious work of God in the nasal area, that thou will open up those tubes and, uh, and those little glands. Take care of this heart where it's in the valve, the wall, the arteries. There's a trouble in the arteries. It's kind of clogged up. Wilt thou now go in by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name? Take care of it. Dissolve that fatty tissue that's accumulated through too much meat. Oh, we're trusting for these poisons to be taken out in Jesus' name miraculously. This headache that's most peculiar in the right temple runs over into the forehead. I pray in the name of Jesus for your mercy that thou wilt now take care of this in Jesus' name and for the glory of God. Uh, this something in the back that's not a catch but something else. I don't know what it is. Wilt thou now in Jesus' name let it be taken by thy Holy Spirit and move in upon the situation. Behold, be healed in the muscle, the bone, the cartilage. It's in the cartilage. Let these cartilages now be repaired and come into place. Let them now come into that right function for your glory in Jesus Christ's holy name. For the President of the United States and his tremendous pressures and for the Senate and for their thinking of what can be the best uh, for each one concerned. We pray thee, O Lord, for thy guidance, dear Father. Lord, they're in the nursing homes for those mothers and fathers. Those are father, he's so homesick. Oh my, he's, he's wanting to see his son or daughter. It's a daughter. I pray to help just right now in the name of Jesus and comfort him so he thinks she's come and he can kind of lie down and rest a while. We're trusting, Heavenly Father, for the little ones, those that came to thee, those that need to come, that thou as to work with their hearts today at this altar that they will not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season they'll reap if they faint not. Casting aside every weight and sin, it was so easy to beset us, let us therefore run with patience the race thou hast set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who with the joy that was set before thee endured the cross, despising the shame is now set down where you are with the Father now, and I need him desperate, because we have no merit, we haven't anything. We're just in desperate need of thee, O oh God. We know that you take care of everything because you see the sparrows fall. And you know all about us all. And I pray for a clean, clean, pure heart. Oh Lord, holiness, purity, righteousness, truth, long-suffering, gentleness. And for all thy true and precious holiness. I pray that each of us will not be selfish or jealous or complaining or murmuring, but that we will be able to walk circumspectly before the humbly not in an evil imagination, but in holy faith, pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord Jesus, for those in the plain that uh, needs help now, for the ship, those some ships out there in distress. I pray that you'll go in the storm, quiet them down, let the waves settle, let the wind cease, and let them be delivered for the glory of God. In Jesus' name we ask you. Amen. Souls draw call the souls that are near the border of eternity and will soon be in it. I pray for them to yield and come to repentance and be loved. Let the church, all churches, all denominations of thee, let their hearts be opened to the sacred word of no longer self-assertive, but taking up the cross that they may be crucified cleanse and the carnal nature filled with the Holy Spirit. For if we be without love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, temperance, meekness, such as no law, when we have these thy holy fruits, then there is a gentleness, and a sweetness, and a helpfulness, and a thoughtfulness, and a caution, and a carefulness that helps to sweeten the community where they are, that the family might be at rest. 
In Jesus' name we pray for souls and wisdom. You said if any man lead, need wisdom and the magic of God who giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, shall be given him. I need wisdom to know what to say, what not to say, how to move, how to speak, uh, the tone of the voice and the very essence of what it is within the heart because out of the heart, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. For the heart is deceitful above all things. It's desperately wicked. Uh, who can know it? None of us know how desperately wicked the human heart is. It's to thee to deliver us. And thee said, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it comes the issues of life. And we know if the heart isn't pure, we get the wrong revelation. We get the wrong sentence. We are out of kilter and out of balance. So the heart must be kept through prayer, lots of prayer, waiting, looking to thee with adoration and praise and dying daily. Oh, we pray, dear Heavenly Father, for thy guidance, O oh Lord, in this area of prayer and the word. Uh, he said, yea, uh, let thy word, I hide it there in my heart that I might not sin against thee. We pray in Jesus' name to comfort those that are weary. Let the weariness be taken and the tiredness be gone. And let hearts be strong. And may thee give multiple rest, even double, triple or more. For Jesus' sake, for there remaineth therefore a rest unto thy people. We know not how to pray, but thee knoweth how to answer. With uh, intercessions, with groanings that we cannot say, nor speak, nor declare. Uh, take these problems that are pressing. These problems, these heartaches, it's so, so, so frightening and devastating. I pray that thou will take and work them and let the kingdom of God be in evidence in the revelation as thee doth want to help and strengthen in every tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. A charge to keep, we have thee, our God, to glorify our never dying souls to save and fit it for the sky. To serve this present age, our calling to fulfill, O oh, may all our powers engage, Lord Jesus, to do thy holy will. And defeat the devil and deception and faultness that we won't rely on feelings or any earthly right. physical thing. Right. And get sidetracked and don't go by that, but go by thy word and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And not by certain feelings or operations, but go by faith and holiness and truth and carefulness and caution, so we be in the holy will, thy holy will, the sacred will of thee, our heavenly Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus at the right hand of God, for thee has been disappointed with most mortals since the fall of Adam, for we seek selfish motives, and thee is seeking a people that will seek only thy kingdom to lose their life. For he that would save his life shall lose it, but he that will lose his life for my sake of the gospels shall find it. So we save ourselves by doing things like we like and like we want and arrange them and working them out for our advantage. And we lose our life, we see a little part, only a fragment, by simply losing all, leaving all, praying, waiting, reading thy word and trusting, loving one another everywhere as you love us, and letting thee make the plans and letting thee open the door, for thou said, I set it there and no man can shut it, and that we will just simply let thee lead and check us and guide us and instruct us in true holiness. That the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. For Jesus, thou art the root, the offspring of David the bright and the morning star, the everlasting Father, the Counselor, the one altogether lovely, the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, O oh, the mighty one and the great everlasting Father. I pray in Jesus' name for mercy, for it's going to be through thy mercies I make heaven, through thy sacred blood, for we have no strength of our own, no merit whatsoever. It's because of thee, our holy faith, what's delivered to the saints. Faith, holy faith, pure, undefiled, not contaminated, not touched by earthly things, only thy holy will and sacred word abiding. For there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. We cannot take the seemeth way. We must take the dying root where we yield all, leave all, and submit to thee with thanksgiving and praise. Then rejoice always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice evermore, and in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
Oh, that there were such a heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. And I sought for a man among them that would stand in the hedge and make up the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But he said, I found none. Ezekiel 22, 30. We thank thee, Lord, that we could let not our hearts be troubled, but believe in God, believe in Jesus also, for in thy father's house are many mentions. If it were not so, I would have told you. For uh, I go, I'll come again, and I'll receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. I pray, O Father, for thy holy mercies upon us and all that's taking place in the atmosphere and the things in the weather and tornadoes and, and uh, hurricanes and all the upheavals. For when I was a boy, the weather was stabilized. We didn't have tornadoes uh, in the t late teens and 20s. I can't remember tornadoes anywhere in the Midwest much. One broke out in, near Newcastle a long, long time before I got there in uh, 1925. Uh, but there hadn't been many. And in these late years, there's so many tornadoes and so many earthquakes. And you said that would occur in the last days, just before the coming. These are the beginning of the days of sorrow. A nation of Israel became in May of 48. And the fig tree is in blossom. I pray, Lord, for thee, O Lord, to deliver us. Because we have nothing. We have anything except to trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in thee Jesus but to trust thee and thee said trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths I pray for those all that's been left out of this prayer way over there in the corner way back in the hard place way up in high places where they're so lonely. And then those in despair, those near death, those, oh God, in hospital beds that are racked with pain and the poisons are in a rare battle and they're raging like dragon's heads and, and such pain and suffering and they don't know what to do and medication can't find it. And get it stilled. Thank you for hearing our cry when our Yes. security man said to me just short time ago our daughter has this awful thing they can't stop the pain's been there for one day two days three days in the fourth day and they can't get it stopped there isn't any medication at all that will stop it the strongest won't reach it uh, could you pray and I said well we don't know much how to pray but God y'all have mercy and we went up to thee Jesus oh God and asked thee to go in and to Sheila which we've never seen the wife of the treasure Fort Lauderdale, we asked you, Jesus to go in there and there's a mass right there. And you went in and took care. And then with about an hour, we asked you again. And then again, we asked about one in the morning as my wife and I was reading and praying. And Bud came and he said, you know, it's been wonderful how Jesus has helped because our daughter called at 8.30 the next morning and said, I want to meet you at the mall. I don't know when I felt so good. They had lunch together and dinner, and you went in and performed the miracle in the brain. We want to thank you for that prayer. And then also for the other daughter six weeks later when she had mono, and nothing of medication can reach into this infection, for it's somewhere in the blood of the organs or the tissues, the fibers. And you went in and took care of it so she could go back to teaching what they said she couldn't. And we want to praise you for every answer to prayer that you've given, every provision. We're not worthy of the car we drive. We're not worthy of the home we live in. We're not worthy of the shoes we wear. We're not worthy of the clothes we have. And you've given us all things, and we have given back to thee hardly anything. We have little. Uh, oh, God, you have much. And we want to praise you and adore thee and give thee all glory for every breath we've had for 75 years for everything, the eyes to see, the ears to hear, the hands to work, the limbs to move, for balance and gifts and love for everybody. Oh God, for thou hast given us all things and thou hast been faithful in all vicissitudes of life and every areas of life's experiences. Oh God, we praise you for all those that have been assisting everyone and for this piano that came by this company. Oh Lord, and for this 
precious one that's uh, responsible. We love him so much. We called him in Denver many years ago, and he thought maybe we were going to line him up because he'd been lined up before. He's ready to take me. He said, but I just told him about the kingdom and how he's loved it all. Then, you know, in a little while, Jesus, he found you and came, and he's been on his way called straight. And, 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 oh, how you've used him and blessed us and others. We want to thank you for all the others here. Oh, God, right through there that you'll take care of that in Jesus' name. Just take care of it now. Just right now. Take care of that in Jesus' name right there. Right over there. Take care of this. Heavenly Father, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know even how to pray. Even though Mother began me in 1917. But you know how to answer. So I pray for them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. For if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. And I can do all things through Christ Jesus which strengthen me. Let this mind be in me that was also in Christ Jesus. Rebuke the reprobate mind, the darkness of the world, that the mind of Christ may abide and abound in the Holy Ghost. For Jesus' sake, I pray for these that have lost their companions. Then the dear ones, that the companions are not well mentally. I pray that you will comfort and strengthen, that you will lift them up and hold them fast, and they have been doing nobly. Oh, we thank you for all of this in Jesus' name. And all the rest, we put them in a little package, put them up there. We don't know how to tell you about this beautiful group. Oh, they're far and near. All kinds of situations, so there our Father in Jesus' name take them for Jesus' glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. We praise you. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we praise you, Jesus. We have a dear, dear brother and his wife here that used to be, I believe, in Haiti, right? Jeff Maker. I'm going to have brother and sister Hal come right up here just for a moment. Escort them up. They're right here. And they are children of the Most High God. Amen. They have been with Jesus. He has changed their lives. And he has given them a new heart, a marvelous way. Oh, how the lights, what lights, what lights. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. He is a preacher of righteousness. Amen. She is the helpmate that props the wheel, chocks it on the journey, and gets everything ready and helps along this way to cheer him up and to pray with him and take care of the children and several others besides wherever the need may be. You want to speak just for a moment? And then sister will speak the song or a word or whatever you have. Remember that song that you wanted to sing one time and he didn't know how to sing it, but he did it anyhow? I have the book down there. Oh, you have I the book. Do well, you have a testimony you want to okay. say? Yes, sir. I just see it. Amen. Well, I don't know where to begin. Have what? you had a good time? Amen. Praise the Lord. Have you feasted? Amen. Has the joy of the Lord been in evidence? Amen. 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 Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, temperance, and meekness against us. There's no law has Amen. been abounding in the soul. Glory. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, we are enriched. We are blessed. We are honored of God. And it's good to be on the Lord's side. 
and we are thankful to be here amen and the Lord has worked wonderfully and worked in the heart of his dear children and caused here with this wonderful family of God and we we do not have words to express ourselves but the Lord knows it all and all to the glory and honor of his will amen and we just thank God tonight for all what we what he has done and what he has been and what he is doing for us so help us to magnify him help us to lift him higher help us to glorify his name amen oh God, amen God, amen we praise you we all praise you. to the glory yes, and honor jesus. of the lord yes jesus amen oh, we need it. amen i get so thrilled with jesus i feel mightily honored because I love the Lord and I love all of you and I know you all love us. Yes. I just feel so good in my soul. I'm humbled because I know the Lord is living within me and there's no greater joy that one can ever have than to know that the Spirit of God is keeping you alive. And I can say it's all over me and it's keeping me alive. I will try to sing this song. I don't know if my husband will be able to read my writing, but I... Believe he'll help me to sing it. <laughs> Thank you. That was very sweet. That was very precious. That was very dear. Across here, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Bless him. Real good. Oh, our precious. Sing the part. Wonderful love oh, that rescued me. Sunk deep in sin Guilty and vile as I could be No hope within When every ray of light had fled O glorious day Raising my soul from out the dead Love Oh, praise his holy name. Sing the part 
once again with us. Thou found the way to be my soul. Thou found a way that could make me whole. Thou sent my Lord to the cross of Joy Bell with your two little sons. Thank you, brother and sister Howe. Oh, wasn't it sweet? Wasn't it pure? Full of Jesus? Love and care, holiness and righteousness. Isn't that great? Thomas, I saw you were feasting. Both of you. Hallelujah. George, everything all right over there? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I found their mother when she's four years and seven months old through a direct leading and going down a highway called Clinton Highway. My sweetheart, now it's 57 years, was sitting right here real close, and I was, I said, oh, honey, Jesus is speaking to me in light. She looked up at me. I said, this leading is of the kingdom of God. This was August of 1955. And I said, I'm to see Ralph McDonald as soon as I can. So when I found him, he and his wife, the pastor and his wife, had prayed, and the Lord had said, send one of your little pilgrims by. And so we were that fortunate person. The Lord helped and worked and led and guided and blessed, and we found Joy Bell and Gilbert and Lillian Ruth. We went out to a little church and was out there, and she got under great conviction. At the altar call, she cried and cried and cried. And Lily and Ruth told me when my father and I came to the kitchen door, she said, you know, Reverend Helm, I wasn't sure. She was so small, I wasn't sure what she knew what to do about going to the altar or not. You know, she's only four years and seven months old. And I said uh, to her, I said, oh, honey, uh, how, how's your heart? And she looked up and she said, it's on fire. So I just got down, <laughs> I got down with her. And she met Jesus, and he came into her heart and changed her life. That was in 1956. And how wonderful it was, my father told me he couldn't go with me for two weeks, but he did. My baby brother Edward took care of the charge. They loved him so much. When he got back, they didn't hardly want to let him go when Daddy returned. It was a great time. And you were saved and met Jesus. That's right. That's right. And when I found you, you know, your mother had taught you around 150 to 250 scriptures. Yes. Do you recall? Yes. Yes. And you tell me that those scriptures that you learned when you were that age mm -hmm. has uh, remained. Those are the ones that I don't have to review to retain. They're always there. Uh, they are a treasure mm -hmm. in the heart mm -hmm. that springs forth in the hour of need. Yes. When we were singing this morning, uh, since Jesus came into my heart about that, all the sin and wickedness, why, I felt just as wicked as anybody else. Oh, sure. It was all this sin, and it was as though you've been out in sin for years, but it really doesn't make any difference. The sinful heart's the sinful heart. That's a true. Yes. Regardless of the deeds that have taken place. Yes. Yes. And I felt just like I'd been saved. I could review it in my mind as that we're fresh yes. and new. Isn't it a morning. great thing that the greatest day of your life can take place when you're four and a half years old? Oh, I know. Um, yes. Wonderful days since then. Many wonderful things, both spiritual and physical and uh, just the, the milestones of life. But none to compare with that. Well, I'm so thankful to Jesus for how he's helped you. 
and then to teach these sons, and they sit still, you know, they hold still for an hour, two hours, three hours, and they sit there. They don't, oh, I know it's not easy, but mother and daddy, they, they're wonderful. And Jesus, and they train them to be disciplined in a manner that they not only sing, but they hear and want to do what mother and father feel best. And that is good. This is true. The other day we they were visiting a neighbor and Brantley came home. He said they started playing a record I knew you wouldn't like, so I came home. Yes. Left my so, friends. So they get away. See that whirling music, that whirling music just takes Jesus right out of us. Those television programs that you watch, you know, with love affairs and shooting, just that spirit gets in there, it's a murderous thing. It's a love thing that just destroys everything. It just takes Jesus right out of us in a little while. And you knew right away that that wasn't right, so you said, I better get out of this thing. We're ready to take over in your heart, and you wouldn't be able to sing very good tonight. It'd all be flat. <laughs> <laughs> have little songs here that she's taught them. So aren't we glad to have them? Yeah. Yeah. It's 10 on the list. Do you have one on your heart that you'd like to sing? Whoever gave that to you to give to me, you tell them, well, just sanctify it in Jesus' name. It would be all right to do that. Very good. Uh, what's on your heart? Brighten up my soul. What number is that? Eight. Thank you. Apparently, if you'd stand on the other side, Stephen, that way I can correct Stephen, help him with his note a little better if he slips off. You got to brighten up my soul. You got to brighten up my soul. You got to brighten up my soul. You got to carry the heavy. of Israel. Tony. He's, I'll tell you where he is. He's trying to help somebody somewhere. Well, I'll just let the boys do it by themselves. Not many. He knows how to help. He's a well, way back he somewhere. But I'll tell you, it's a sight what this Stay man. There with you. God's got a treasure. I tell you, I don't know how to tell you because people don't know what's in this man. He is, see, and he don't want anyone to know about that, but he's a, oh, what what this man can do. 
God helping him. Really, I want to give God all the praise because, see, he's been faithful to hold fast that which is good and to prove all things and be lowly and just take up whatever little strand that's left behind and look after the crumbs for this one over here to have and take care. Praise the Lord. Wait and watch him grow With time and a bit of patience The fruit will start to show It may be a small beginning But don't be a bit surprised The sun and a lot of water A seed can touch the skies There's possibility A tiny little seed It may be a small beginning But it won't take too long With food from the earth around him To sprout up straight and strong It may be a small beginning But God knows what you need Cause life is a gift from heaven All wrapped up in a seed There's possibility
Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise thee, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Is Guy William there? Yes. Will you come, please? Praise this one. Hallelujah. I found him in a barn. We had such a time as I cannot tell you about, but the Lord was to be praised. And we uh, cannot tell you how Jesus helped, but it was a wonderful time. Uh, yes, a wonderful time. Thank you. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Eleven years ago. Eleven, Eleven years. Ago. Eleven this years. Last spring. But it seems but a little while. It does. It really does. Praise it the Jesus. Does. We're so thankful. Oh, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, I wondered if you had a song, a chorus to lead us in, or there's a song in here that God wanted you to present it. Is there a special song? Uh, how many sorrows have you with you? 21. 16. Let us stand, please. Thomas, would you like to lead us on a chorus, please? Amazing grace, how sweet. Stop just a minute. Stay with me. I'm leading this. Amazing grace. Oh, that's better. How sweet. Save a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found. Upon 
I have already come. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. His grace hath brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved? How precious did that grace appear? Okay. When we have been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun. Ladies and the girls. Ladies. Yeah.
of Jesus, since I found in him a friend so kind and true. I would tell you how he changed my life completely. He did something that no other friend could do. No one ever cared for me. Like Jesus, there's no other friend so kind as he. No one else could take the sin and darkness from me. Oh, how much he cared for me. Oh, my life was full of sin when Jesus found me. Oh, my heart was full of misery and woe. Jesus placed his strong and loving arms around me. And he showed me all the way I ought to go. Every day he comes to me with new assurance. More and more I understand his words of love. Yet I'll never know just why he came to save me. Till someday I hear his blessed voice above. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. There's no other friend so kind as he. No one else could take the sin and darkness from me. so well, son. You did it so precious. Jesus helped you to do that. The Holy Spirit helped you. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you very much, dear one. I miss you, you know. Oh, yeah. Bill, I, I said to you in a note, maybe, or to Pastor Hogue, I, I just felt like I was coming home again when I was with you in Florence, you know, and the the dear ones, I'm thankful. Oh, yes. that was a great it's been time. a privilege. It's been 11 wonderful years. Oh, I'm so thankful. It's a privilege. Oh, the, the sweet and wonderful times we've had oh, together. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. When same. you prayed for the orphans tonight, I thought I used to be an orphan, but I'm not anymore. No, you're with us. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and everything's been so tied up, and, and everything you've shared with me and the things you've shared. Uh, Vera and Kenneth told me very early that if I would heed everything that you told me, um, that while well, it was just Jesus would bring, thing, bring it to pass, and he's everything that he's done for me, it's, I really believe it's because of hearing uh, Jesus as he has led you. I, I'm the recipient, Jesus. and I want to praise him. I want to thank oh, Jesus in heaven the Lord. at the right hand of yes, God, indeed. giving Amen. him all glory for yes. this high privilege yes, I sir. have of finding yes. you. Oh. Mother gone, father gone, yes. but you're at home. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> praise the Lord. I have been for 11 years. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I it's knew it truth. right away oh, yes. when I looked into your eyes. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, what a time we oh, had. Yes. We couldn't tell it. I, I tried to tell my sweetheart and didn't know how. That's right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, I, I'm thankful, and well, I never want to take it for granted. I got in my heart when you said you're thankful. Praise the Lord. And I am Praise thankful. The Lord. Thank you yes, so much. Yes, indeed. I, I, I shall. I shall. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, all the young people, all the young men and women that was at camp, 
I don't know how much the stage will hold. Will it hold some weight? Let all of them come right up here. All of them that came in from camp. Oh. A lot of the people couldn't get in. A lot of the young people couldn't get in. Just a few could come. Praise the Lord. A lot in the overflow room. Oh. They came in. They wanted, the, they wanted the waiting to begin that night. They said, why do we have to wait until the 11th? They wanted to get started right away. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, whoever wants to testify, start in testifying. Right now. Yeah, right now. I want to praise the Lord for healing. Hey, man, she wants to praise the Lord for healing. Another one. I want to praise the Lord for the love of God. Hey, man, like you're on a ball squad and you're trying to make a long cheering lead. Another one. What if another? Hey, man. Yes. Another. Another. Praise the Lord. Right here, praise the Lord. Another young man or woman that has the fire and you want to tell us how Jesus helped you. Hallelujah. That's good, Scott. Another. Hallelujah. Another. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Another. Praise the Lord for healing over here, too. I want to praise God for the Holy Spirit. Oh, that was good. Amen. Another. Glory. Amen. Another. Praise God for you camp to go to. Oh, yes. Thank you. Another praise. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord for the blood. Yes. Praise God. He brought help and deliverance to me and everybody else at camp. Great. Another. Yes. Thankful for what God did for her parents at home. Another. Thankful for God's leading. Amen. Praise the Lord for the anointing. We want to thank you for that. Another. Amen. Praise, Praise God for the salvation of souls of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. That's good. Another. Yes. Yes. Reverend Wright said, you're prophets. Yes. Telling the good news. Amen. Sons and daughters of the Most High God. Another. Sons and daughters. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. See how I let that out of there. Another. Thank you, God's love. Thank you. I'm thankful for men and women of God that will give time and effort and love us when a lot of times we're unworthy young people. Yeah. I'm thankful that they love us enough, they love God enough to give their time and, and to give up their vacations to come to youth camp and love us, tell us the word of God, tell us where we need to be, that we need to be stirred up in Jesus. I'm thankful for Pastor Wright and, and Tom Mullins that love us and want to labor in Jesus for us, that are, are, are endeavoring to, to do God's will Amen. and care about young souls. Oh, oh that's the, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Another. Feel free. You're at home. Have to be right before the waiting upon God. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're all so precious. Part of the Joshua generation. Amen. Amen. We're delighted to have you. Yes, May he comfort you and strengthen you. Yes, sir. Another. Indeed. Indeed. Another. Thank you that I'm a warrior. Amen. 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 Yes. Well, praise God. Glory. I'm thankful to see everyone up here, and I'm praise God this platform is filled. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Another that wants to praise the Lord. Thank you, Gregory. I want to praise God for Gregory. the joy that he puts in 
my heart. Amen. Amen. Because joy in my heart, and I'm unworthy. I'm uh, oh, I'm unworthy too. Amen. She's thankful. Amen. Another word of praise. Yes, he changed her life. Praise the Lord. When I thank God, even though I'm a David, weak, I can be mighty in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, there's a young girl that I've been praying with since she was a little tot. Her name is Jennifer Blankenship. And Jesus changed her life. She's somewhere here. And she's real backward and timid. But God uh, really, go out there, honey, where they can take a little look at you. I pray to her. I'm just thankful how God helped each and every one of us to become closer and to be able to love each other. And, you know, no matter what, we were just a team and we were all there together. And he answered so many desires in my heart. And I just thank him for everything he did for me and everyone else. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. <clears throat> now, do you want to lead him in a song, Daniel? That you led out there, one of you, or Thomas? Yeah, or, or Todd. Uh, Jefferson, Todd. Uh, Jefferson, where are you? Come up here and lead him in a song. Quickly. Mighty warriors. Yeah, sing it out. Mighty warriors of God. Amen. Amen. We have someone can Beverly play that for us. Beverly, maybe you can pick it up. Yeah, just let her loose. The reason I brought them up here, down there, you couldn't see them anyhow. Only just three or four or 10 or 20 or 30. We have them up here so you could see. I didn't know myself, you see. I wasn't at camp. Praise the Lord. I just know a few of them. Amen. It'd be interesting to know how many there are here with us. And then those that could not come in tonight because of our accommodations. Open up like you like they were just ready to make that touchdown down there. Open it up. Open up the stops. Thank you, Jesus, for them. Encourage them. Bless them. Lift them. Comfort them. Mm -hmm. 